hit that like button if you like coin roll hunts, and subscribe. Thanks for watching Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. It's time for another CRH. And CRH stands for Coin Roll Hunt. And coin roll hunting is a very relaxing hobby, plus it can be profitable, as we are searching for pre-1982 pennies. And uh, the reason why we're looking for pre-1982 pennies is because those were minted out of 95% copper. Now the pennies that were minted after 1982 are basically just, you know, copper-coated zinc. So it's a lower quality metal and uh, you know it's like you know 97 and a half percent zinc with two and a half percent zinc or I'm sorry two and a half percent copper but we're looking for the 95 percent copper now if we happen to see any that are 1982 I'll just set those aside for later because those are uh, from the transition year where some of them were still made out of copper and you know the others started to become made out of uh, 97.5% zinc with 2.5% copper coating. So if we get really lucky, we'll find a bunch of 95% copper pre-1982 cents. And, um, and if we get really, really lucky, maybe we'll find some cents from Canada, maybe some older ones from Canada, as well as some uh, wheat cents. And the wheat cents can be worth anywhere from, you know, instead of double the value, which a 95% copper penny would be at the time of this filming, is about double the face value of a one cent coin. A wheat a wheat cent coin uh, would be worth, you know, maybe five or ten times as much or more, depending on the condition. So this one is uh, ninety seven and a half percent zinc. So we'll set that in the zinc pile. All right. Ooh, here is a nineteen seventy nine. That is ninety five percent copper. So we're going to start a new copper pile. And uh, here's a 1991. That's mostly zinc. And a 1988. Another mostly zinc coin. This one's from 1984. Kind of uh, scratched up there. All right. And here's a 1974. That is 95% copper. So it's going to join that other copper coin that we found. Here is a 1989. And a 1968. A 1968 is definitely 95% copper. Excellent. Okay. 1983. 2014, Nineteen ninety six, two thousand one, two thousand twelve, nineteen. Looks like that's a nineteen eighty two. Nineteen eighty two is the transition year. So it could be 95% copper, or it could be just 2.5% copper with 97.5% zinc. So we'll put that in a 1982 pile to be researched further at a future time. 1970, that is most definitely 95% copper. So that's going to go into the copper pile. 2011 mostly zinc 1982 another transition year coin so we'll put that with the 1982's and that'll be determined what the metal content is in the future 
they'll just be stored with all the other 1982 cents that I've found doing coin roll hunting 2008 2016 2000 2007 2005 1968 95% copper 1996 2015 2015 2014 1980 95% copper yay 1999 2013 it looks like it's kind of tarnished so it's kind of hard to tell 2012 Oh, look what I see peeking out at us. Oh, man, it's a wheat back scent. So this is worth maybe five, ten cents or more, depending on the condition. So that was acquired for one cent as I bought all these bank boxes of pennies and bought every penny at face value. Let's see what the year is. 1944. Sorry about the loud squeaky noise. That's my daughter's hamster running around the wheel. It's pretty interesting. Keeps me awake at night sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, 1944. This is like basically almost a 75 year old coin right here. That is awesome. At the time of this filming, anyway, it's around 75 years old, which is, uh, time of this filming is September of 2018. What an exciting find. Wow. Just love the back of it. Let's look at the reverse of it again here. That is awesome. I think the hamster is excited about it too. So that will go in a different pile. As there's a zinc pile. There's a 1982 pile. There's a 95% copper pile. There's a wheat penny pile, and hopefully we'll find, doesn't look like it so far, I don't see any in there, it looks like, that are from Canada, but it'd be nice to find one of those, occasionally we find those, so that's a zinc scent right there, mainly zinc, 1981, 95% copper, 1974, 95% copper. And by the way, the wheat back scent is also 95% copper, but uh, it's much older, so it's definitely worth more your, than your average 95% copper coin. Okay. Whoops, sorry, pause the camera there for a minute to cough. Got a little bit of a cold, so I didn't want to cough in your ear. 1979, 95% copper. 1986. 2015-1988. 1992, 1995, 1984, 2015, and the last one, a very shiny, beautiful 1968. So let's count them all up, all the 95% coppers. So we have one, two, Three, 
four, five. By the way, my daughter's hamster's name is Melanie. We named the hamster Melanie, or my daughter named her Melanie anyway. Definitely a great name for a cute little hamster. All right. And there's the sixth one. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Ten of them that are 95% copper. And we can't forget this one. But this is going to go into an entirely different uh, category. The wheat scent from 1944. So that'll be held in a separate little Ziploc baggie from all the uh, regular 95% copper coins. That'll be in the wheat, wheat back scent coins. And thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button, like, uh, comment, and subscribe. And uh, follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter at Coin Collecting Fun. Thank you so much and have a great day.